Welcome everybody to the Cheryl Technology Channel. I am your host, Chris, back with another video. And in this one, oh, y'all see it. We're going to be looking at Garuda. Garuda. What a name that is, man. Try saying that a thousand times fast. And uh, so in this one, we're going to look at Garuda Linux Harpy Eagle. And we are going to um, try to figure out whether it's worth it or not. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion, the thing, the problems that I had, the things I like, things I don't like, the way of the look of it and everything. So the first, I think the first part of it is the, the interesting look of the icon. So in the introduction, here's the introduction, like this video and make sure you subscribe and click the little bell notification. So every time I get a, I produce a video, you get a notification and you can watch it and hopefully be blessed by it. So let's get into this. So the first thing I want to go into is the icon. So you notice these icons are a lot different than a normal, like a normal Linux distribution. The reason for that, the reason for that is because it's running KDE Plasma. That's the desktop environment. Now it is a, it's built off of Arch. I can tell you that. So it's, it's an Arch based distribution. Like, like a lot of the other ones, there's a lot of them. Um, the desktop environments include, these are just some of them, uh, KDE, XFC, GNOME, LX, QT, Quinn, right? Wayfire, Qtile, BSPWM, yes, I3WM, and Sway. Sway, that's just a cool name, dude. That's a few choices for the desktop environment. The reason I say this is because it is almost... You can make it anything you want it to be. You can make it look any way you want it to look. That's what I love about this one. It is very versatile. It's quick. It's powerful. But there are some issues, and I'm going to tell you what those are in just a few minutes. So, y'all stay with me. Watch. Make sure you watch this video to the end, too, because it is a good, it is a good uh, operating system. But there are – I had quite a few issues. So, um, the process for installation was very simple. Um, it was very, it went quickly. It was very easy. I didn't have any trouble installing it. It's friendly for most anybody. Now there it's, it's a friendly operating system. The first point I want to make is it's a, an operating system that is very friendly. It's like, uh, so the one that I have is the dragonized gaming edition. That's the one that I have. So it has a bunch of options for gaming and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to look at that here in just a minute. Um, so if you've never worked in technology or you don't, you're not very good at it, this OS might not be for you because it, there's some parts of it that are a little complicated. If, if, if I'm looking at it from the perspective of a, somebody who's just started out and they want to learn, this would be a good operating system because you can just explore, run it in a virtual machine and. If you want a video on that, I can make one. I have one actually of, of um, Pop! OS, if you want to go look at that on my channel. But uh, all in all, I think it's a good operating system. It's very, it's very good, but here's the but. Point two is what I want to make. Okay. Gruda has a, a unique look, as you can see. It looks very, very unique. It's very interesting. Um, but the issue... Um, so what I had, the problem I had was I was typing on my other screen. So this screen over here, I was making notes for this video and the screen went black. I thought, oh, well, it just went to sleep. So I moved my mouse over here. I moved my mouse around, clicked, pressed the space bar, nothing happened. I hard reset the computer. The, the virtual machine came right back up. That happened to me seven times. It's the first Linux distribution I've ever had to do that in an in a VM. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. I hadn't even looked I hadn't looked at the logs or anything, so I don't know what actually happened, but it did it seven times. I imagine it's something to do with a driver or an update or something. I imagine it's probably a display driver or something. Now, the second thing I want to uh, I want to make a point in in the second point is the uh um, the dolphin file system. So I'll tell you what, let's take a look. We'll look at this here in a minute. Um, you notice how it's got kind of the Mac OS type little buttons. Yeah, I noticed that too. Okay. So let's go into our file dolphin. 
So here's our file explorer. Look at this. <laughs> I love that jelly mode. So, I mean, the icons are actually very cool. <laughs> they have a unique look. It's it's very interesting to see how how each community comes up with something completely different for Linux. How they can take what they know and make it into something unique. I really like that about the Linux community. That's what I like. Now, also to let you know, this this uh, this uh, operating system takes automatic snapshots. So, like, it will take a snapshot of of the operating system so that you don't lose anything. That is freaking cool. Now, if y'all want me to take a deeper dive into this, if I if I say get 200 views, 100 views, I'll I'll do another video on it. But I got to get 20 likes, so I got to get 20 likes before I'll do it. Um, so uh, that's what I'm 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 interested to see to dive into that and see what it looks like. So that's kind of that point. So the third point, who is this operating system for? You know, it's I think it's more for the advanced user, somebody who creates content. Somebody who does a lot of media stuff. I mean, it is a very, it's very fast. It is not a lightweight operating system. It's not built for a really lightweight machine. It's built to do heavy work. So, um, and here in just a minute, we'll get into some of the other things. In in the post, post setup, so I, I'll, I'll look at this real quick. The post setup, you can see I've got Steam already installed right here. Um, in here, so you have the, op, the option to... Uh, Let's go here to the Garuda Gamer. Let's take a look at this. So if you look here, <laughs> that's funny. So these are all the games, the gamer things that you can do. So play on Linux. I mean, you can install all of this stuff and it just pff, installs it immediately. It's freaking cool. So here's all the games. They've got quite, well, I mean, they got quite a few games in here that you can that to choose from. It is the gamer edition. So, I mean... I want to go full time to Linux, but because of some of the issues that I've had in the past with the anti cheat and stuff, I don't even bother with it until I get that fixed. Um, let's see, here's all your emulators. See, I got tons of them. Holy moly, that's a lot. So, I mean, this is kind of this part of it Lutris, which is one of the big ones. Okay, now let's go back into here. Okay, so y'all see, I'm back in here. Now let's go to the setup assistant. Yeah, we're going to update the system. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember what it was. Okay, there it goes. It's going to update the OS. Hello, everybody. Welcome back again. So I had to do a bunch of updates, and it took like 10 minutes. So um, so if you look here, we're in the post-installation wizard. So I went to the uh, welcome and the setup assistant, and then it did a crap ton of updates, like over a gig. Um Let's click OK. OK. OK, so now you can do, oh, yeah, let's do firmed. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, GUI, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. That looks good. Do you need another kernel? Oh, so you can do another kernel in case you want to run another kernel. So click OK. See, and then you can do like, uh, so look at this. So now you can see like when in the post installation wizard, when I said you could choose a bunch of software, this is what I was talking about. So we could like put all this in only office. Yeah. Why not? Let's do that. No, we won't put it. We won't put that in. I don't need it. Uh, okay. So install applications. What extra browsers do you, so it's asking for the browsers and, and, uh, we'll get that one. Sea monkey's awesome too. I like that one. Shout out to Zach and Max. Y'all know what y'all know what I'm talking about. So um, this is kind of what you've got right here. So it just, it walks you through kind of all the software that you can do, all the software you can install. Oh my goodness, gracious life. There is so much stuff. This is what I was saying, how it's probably not friendly for somebody who doesn't know what they're looking for. This is what I was talking about. If you don't know what any of this crap is, you're not going to be wanting it. You're not going to want to go through all this. And I've already got OBS, so we don't need that one. We'll just keep clicking OK until it gets to the end. OK, 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 OK. Did y'all see all that? Uh, and then we'll put in our password and we'll install the packages because I only had a couple. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, it's not, it's easy to use, but when it comes to installation, the in, the 
The process to install the OS is fine. It's when you start choosing software, if you don't know what you're looking for, you may not, it may not be that easy for you to do. It may not be that easy. So that's kind of what I'm telling y'all is that it is a good OS. Yes, I had it lock up a crap ton of times, but it could have been because of what I just showed you, the updates. I mean, I had a ton of updates. It was a ton, tons and tons and tons. So, I mean, it's a good OS, but it's not easy if you don't know what all those software packages are. If you don't know what they what you're looking for, you're not going to understand this OS. But I think overall, y'all, I think it's a good OS. I think it's very, very good. Now, one other thing I wanted to look at. So, the other thing, we're going to go into the settings. I wanted to show y'all the, like, kind of the, um, right here. We'll just go full screen here. So you can change your wallpaper. You can go dark theme or light theme. But I like I like the dark theme, so I like to leave it there. Um, appearance. We'll apply that. And then uh, there you go. So then they have, okay, so if you notice, this is the one I like the most. See, I like the icons, but the plasma, the sweetified plasma is the one that has the funky icon. See? But the breeze dark is the one I probably like the most. That's my favorite one. So um, what we're going to do, y'all, is uh, let's see. Let's go to, um, so see they have plasma styles. Like you can see, they have, they have a lot of different options, like a lot of different options. Colors and all this junk. I mean, they got everything in here. It is like the craziest thing you've ever seen. But they, I think for me, I think what I like is the 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 ability to have so many options. Like Dolphin is an excellent uh, file manager. I mean, it's just cool. It looks it looks really good. I mean, it it has a very very Linuxy look. I think, and I mean, but it has kind of the Windows type look too. So I mean, it has all of that. So anyway, I mean, that that's kind of my review on it. I think it's a good OS. I mean, there's a lot of looks that you can, that you can do with it. I mean, it, it's like ridiculous at how many different, let's, let's have a look at the wallpapers real quick. So here are, oops, here are the wallpapers. So like, uh, let's see, let's do, um, let's do this one. We'll apply that. And then we'll minimize that. And then, oh crap. Okay, so this is what I was telling you about. So, <laughs> sometimes it breaks. This is what I was telling you about. So this is what it keeps doing. This is the problem that I had in the past. The seven times, that's eight now. This is what it was doing. And it never recovered. I sit here for five minutes and it never recovered. So let's reboot it. But anyway, y'all, that's about the end of the video. I think I have... Uh, Really went into everything and, and uh, showed y'all pretty much everything that I needed to show you. So if you have any comments or any questions or anything like that, just put them in the, throw them in the comments section and I'll answer as soon as I can. I answer pretty quick most of the time. Um, anyway, here we go. So there's our little, our little birdie now. See right there? There's our little birdie. So uh, anyway. Y'all, thank y'all for watching. May the Lord keep and bless each and every one of you. And until my next video, be safe and take care of each other. Love each other fully, y'all. Okay. Until the next video. Bye, y'all. Peace.